Hello and welcome to my tutorial on the new update to Windlights in Second Life using the Firestorm Viewer. The new update is called EEP which stands for Environment Enhancement Project and in this tutorial I'll be covering the main features, personal settings, how to set up, create and use EEP and how to transfer your old Windlight settings. I've put timestamps in the description below for each section. Okay, now onto the first section, which is the main features of EEP. EEP totally replaces the old Windlight system. Under the old system, Windlight settings were stored as XML files on your computer. On the new system, they're stored in your library folder under Environment. EEP allows up to four different sky layers, and you also have an extended day cycle. Under the old system, it used to be fixed at four hours, now you can have anything up to 168 hours. You can also add your own sun, moon and clouds textures. Another key aspect is that state region parcel settings are simulator side and so by default are automatically seen by anyone using an EAP enabled viewer. No more asking permissions to change environment settings when someone enters a region. I'm at my own region and here in my viewer, I am seeing the region, sky and water settings. If I want to change that, I find that the quickest way is to go into your world menu, environment, and then say something I want quickly, midday. If I wanted a few more options, I just go down to quick preferences. And then um, you see sky here. You can either use the drop down menu to pick one, that you already know about or you just scroll through using the arrow keys Ooh, dog. do you pick one that you like oh that's nice now I've got this setting it will stay even if I change to a different region and even if I log out and log back in again it will come back to this setting and it will keep like this until I change it manually so if I want to change it back to the region setting and what everybody else can see I'll just go into world environment use shared environment back to the lighting that I had before this only affects my viewer and if I wanted to change it even further I'd go to personal lighting here you've got all the different options that you can do to tweak your environment so haze horizon, so you just can fiddle about with it a bit more. Use density, move the sun position. It could be behind me, up there. And this is really good if you want to take photographs. You can also add your own cloud texture. Click that, change that. When you finish with all that, pressing the reset button will reset everything back to the shared environment. Another handy tool to use is the photo tools. If you haven't already got this button on your taskbar, just right click your taskbar, bring up toolbar buttons and look for photo tools. And then once you've got that, you just drag it down onto your taskbar. You can drag it to the bottom or you can drag it to the side, whichever is convenient for you. And this is really good if you're into photography. It's got all the features you need to manipulate your environment and get a perfect shot. If there's something, if you want to make a lighting setting that you wanted to keep, you can create a new environment and then attach it to your avatar which I'll show you in the next section of the tutorial. If you want to edit a preset, you will choose one from the library. You're going to your inventory. Right down the bottom is your library. Click that. And then choose environments. And let's choose one that we want to edit. So you need to copy that, right click copy and once you've copied it put it into your settings folder 
you can put it in any folder but it's easier if you find it in the settings folder right click paste but you've got one item in that folder i recommend that you use the world menu go down to environments and then choose my environments this saves having to scroll through the whole of the inventory so to edit the preset you all you do is double click on it and it automatically shows you what the preset looks like and then you can begin to edit so let's have a go at that see what that looks like that looks pretty nice so then um, if I want to just override this one here just click save or if I want to create a new one I click save as save okay so you can apply that to yourself which means it only affects your viewer or you can apply it to the parcel and it will change it so that everybody can see it you can only change the parcel if you have permissions to change the parcel environment much like a note card you can change the properties so the next owner can modify and or transfer or not depending what you want them to be able to do with it and then you can actually sell these on the marketplace if you want to create a brand new preset from scratch you just right click on the folder go down to new settings and say you want to create a new sky there you have a new sky and then just double left click on it and there it brings up the adjustments that you can make and then you can start doing your new sky settings and that's how you create a new sky you can save as click that click ok and that's your new sky which you can do whatever you want with if you've been given rights you can change the parcel or region environment so that it's not just seen in your viewer everyone can see it when they use the shared environment option to do that go to world and parcel details or region details it's exactly the same for both and then scroll across to environment and it brings up the settings for this parcel i can choose to use region settings or i can choose to use an inventory setting so let's try age of sorcery Ooh, that's pretty good one day cycle in second life took four real life hours now that can be extended anything up to 168 hours if you like you can also have different day cycles at various altitudes these altitudes are fixed and if you wanted to say have a different day cycle at 1000 meters just click customize click your sky at 1000 meters so you wanted that one just click that one and okay and that's what your sky will look like at 1000 meters and apply all that and that's how you add an EAP preset to a parcel or a region 200 wind light settings have already been imported as I've shown previously can be found in the library folder under environments and also can be seen in quick preferences Firestorm viewer had a lot more presets than that so if you wanted those back they are available to buy for free on the marketplace I've put the link for that in the description below if you've got your own custom wind lights on the old system you can import those too first of all you will have to create a new preset go to your settings folder either through your inventory or as I'm doing here under world menu environment my environments right click the settings folder and if your custom folder sorry if your custom wind light was a sky wind light go to new settings and pick new sky so once you've created your new sky double left click on it then choose import 
then you navigate to where your Windlight XML files are on your computer. There won't be any on mine because I didn't do any custom skylight. This is the path that they should be in for PC and for Mac. That concludes my tutorial on the new Windlight settings. I hope that's cleared up any confusions you might have had about it. If you enjoy my tutorials, please give this tutorial a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll be doing more tutorials in the future. Till next time, take care, have a great day and stay virtual.